Okay, I'm gonna, for probably the next a lot of videos I do, they'll all be reinforcing how to get this to go. Just get a, you can get a seven iron or an eight iron or something. I've got a six iron. That's a seven. Just hit some shots where the total commitment is to keep that left leg bent, stay on it, and never ever release that right hand. I almost feel like the, the right hand is going to get past the club and the club's still not there. Uh, past the ball and the club is still, and you haven't released the club. I now know why Hogan was so straight. The club can't get offline if you do that kind of stuff. And I say, in terms of commitment, I probably got about 60% commitment to hanging that club back because I've never done that. I want to hold it back so far that I get the, the butt past the ball. I haven't got that anywhere near that, but that's my intention. Guys, you never see, or you've probably never seen JH clamp the ball like that because I've never been a clamper. Because I've always been a free wheeler. I've always just taken the club back and I've just let it go. But now I'm not letting it go. I'm actually, I don't want it to go. I never ever want it to go. I want to just hang on to it. I mean, that was just, that was seven irons gone like five iron distance. Just so strong. And the div is like four inches past the golf ball. So it's just ridiculous distance guys, I can't hit the ball that far. Picked up a club and a half a moment. And you can see I'm not I'm not tearing at the golf ball. Not at all. Now, all I'm trying to work on now, guys, is to go to the ball and get outside the ball when I hit it. I want to get outside it and in front of it. For someone that's always been away from it and behind it. So I want to feel like this. I want to shoulder that golf ball. I haven't got that yet, but I mean, they're perfect shots. But I know that when I, because I can still feel myself backing out because I'm still not confident. I will this time. Guys, it's the most remarkable feeling I've ever had. I feel I cannot miss a shot. I absolutely feel I can't miss a shot. Now that's how Hagen must have felt. Because if he moves there and he does this, he can only hit one type of shot. And that's a very, very decisive, heavy, clamping type shot. Okay, he didn't take monster divots, but he was still very much a clamper. Although in that Shell's wonderful world of golf, he took some big divots because the ground was very wet that day. It's an amazing feeling because hit that ball so cleanly but there was so much clamp on it but no big blowing out divot just so clean so pure and I've got the 
tennis shoes on. That shows how much a balance is working this way. It's not. I don't feel like I'm ever going to lose my balance. Now I just backed out of that one a little bit and I hit a little pull. Only five yards. But I felt myself back out of that a little bit. Big commitment to go there guys. believe how my divots are straightened up. As I said, I've always been a pronounced into out yeah. swinger. And if you see a practice now, my divots are always into out. But they're dead square now, and even some of them are just tailing off just left after I've hit the ball. There was the ball, there's the end of the divot, probably six or eight inches. JH doesn't do that. Ball fly. It's too easy to hit it. Seven on. Anyone can hit seven on. Amazing when you pull a longer club how much further it goes. Now I, I, this is what I call the, the brink of disaster test. I'll try and hold this club back and not hit the ball. I'll actually physically try and not let it get to the ball. See what happens. In the past if I'd have done that, and I've tried it plenty of times, with my old swing because I was moving away from it and if I held it back uh, I was shank it because I could actually, I'm fairly strong in the forearms and the wrists and I can actually hold it back but I used to, and I'd be moving away from the side shank not anymore That's gone three iron distance. This crazy, crazy distance. So straight. Guys, I never thought at my age I'd be able to hit the ball like that. Just never thought that would happen. It's the best I've ever hit it, and I think I can hit it. Well, I, they're perfect options. What can I say? They're perfect options. Just perfect options. I'll never let the club get into the ball. I just maintain the hinge. Guys, we'll have a look at it next segment. <laughs>